let's sketch an antiderivative of this function. Looking for key points, the derivative function crosses the x-axis here, the slope is 0 at x is equal to 0, and there looks to be a concavity switch from concave down to concave up, about right here. The antiderivative of this function means that this represents the slope of the antiderivative curve. As x approaches this point, the slope is negative, but moving towards 0, something like that. And when x is greater than this point, the slope is positive and it's increasing, so the curve is concave up. Past x is equal to 0, the slope is still positive, but it's increasing at a decreasing rate, so the concavity is negative. This trend continues, and as x approaches infinity, the slope of y is approaching 0, but still always a positive slope as x approaches infinity. And this is just one antiderivative. You can shift this curve anywhere up and down, and that would be an antiderivative of this function.